Gracias. Hello, my gorgeous vloggers. This is Patty Boulay, the vlogging grandmother. And you know, um, in the last vlog, I talked about dating because this is a tying on the next step in a relationship. Well, I have got this all written down so I wouldn't miss a thing. And this is because I have been teaching this to women for so many years in my academy. I have private clients in my academy, which is Bipada Academy. So look it up, bipada.com. You're getting this free. I charge a lot of money to people for preparing them for this or helping them out. You know, it's interesting about courtship because we have lost the art of it. Somehow we managed to lose it, I don't know how, but anyway, I'm going to share these 12 points with you today. So you have done the dating and you like the guy and you like to see him again and God willing, this is the one. You have to make it so, you have to help it along the way. So you lay a good foundation by playing hard to get. You see, I believe easy come, easy go. Yeah, it's by playing hard to get, it's a good way of finding out what you're getting into or what he's made of or whether he is serious or not. Number two, you have to push boundaries. Don't always be available. Sometimes you have to try and judge when you can play hard to get um, so that he is getting just enough of you to keep him hooked, but not enough to bore him. Number three, make sure when he's with you, he is happy. How? Well, okay, everyone is different, okay? You will, some men want to feel like King Kong. I'm sure you know what I mean by that. Some men like to be intellectually fulfilled. Um, some men like to be comfortable. Some men are just all three, to be honest with you. So if you have achieved all of this, keeping him intellectually fulfilled, comfortable, feeling like King Kong, and you are then not available for the next date. Well, ladies, you've got someone who's desperate to see you again, promise you. But meanwhile, you have to get to enjoy yourself and you have to, you must be true to yourself. Don't go thinking you have to sacrifice, uh-uh. Not at this stage. So if he is the King Kong type, then you can take him somewhere where he can show off. Yeah, work that out. You know exactly what I mean. <laughs> if he is the intellectual type, however, then do something intellectual that you enjoy yourself. Don't just do it if you're going to be bored wherever you're going. It has to be mutually enjoyable because otherwise you will come across as false. Okay, well, I, you know, <laughs> I'm saying this and I'm thinking of all the ladies that I've spoken to about this and what I did. Let me tell you, I have been married now, been with my husband 44 years. So, yeah, it's hard work, but it's worth it in the end. If he likes to be comfortable, cook him a meal, dim the lights, make sure it's a good wine, okay? Well, after all this fun, don't be easily available. Mm -mm. Not the next day. No matter how desperate you are to see him, find something else to do. And I tell you what, at this point, to quote my husband, he will be like Sylvester after Tweety Pie. I love that line. He'll be like Sylvester after Tweety Pie. So, that's courtship for you. It's hard work. It is worth it. Like I said in the previous video, man was not meant to be alone. You don't want to be alone when you get older. And there's a man out there for you. He's a good man. And men, there's a woman out there for you. A good woman. So just make the courtship last before you start leaping into bed with each other. Wise words. Been teaching this for a long time. Take it from me. See you next time. Bye.